Hello, you're watching Nested High School Computer Science. I'm Sam. Let's get started. Today, we're talking about algorithms. Probably one of the more important topics in computer science, so I thought I'd start off my channel by talking about them. So, what are they? Basically, there are a series of steps for a computer to carry out. These steps then move towards a certain task. All computers use algorithms. There may be more than one algorithm per task, and some are better than others. As computer scientists, we like to figure out which is better, which is fastest, which takes up less space, and why this is. And, of course, can we improve on it? So what's the difference between algorithms and programs? An algorithm is, is at a higher level, it's at a higher abstraction. We generally use pseudocode or even plain English to describe what it does. A program, on the other hand, is an implementation of an algorithm. Implementation can have its own problems separate to the original algorithm. Basically what I'm trying to say is an implementation can suck and the original algorithm might be alright. Let's look at an example. We're going to make a burger. In front of you, you see the steps for making a burger. They should look familiar to you. Now, let's look at a program for a robot to do the same thing. Instantly, you can see it looks different. For example, you might have some code that initializes the arms of the robot. These arms then may rotate. They may then need to reach out and grab the food, cut, dice. The big thing we worry about as computer scientists are the costs associated with a certain algorithm. How good is the algorithm? How many items can it deal with? How much space does it need? Back to our burgers. The costs for this are the bench space. How much bench space do you need? And then the time it takes to make a burger. What about 10 burgers? 100 burgers? A million burgers? The general idea is to minimize the time taken and the bench space we use. Or, in computing terms, the amount of memory the amount of CPU cycles. In summary, these are just loose instructions for a computer. Some algorithms are better than others, and when creating an algorithm, we have to consider the costs and try to minimize these. This has been an introduction to algorithms, the first topic from Nested. Thanks for watching.